One way to give your e-learning course a nice visual touch and personal feel is to include a background photo. However, you might find that using background photos, they can sometimes be loud and distracting, or it can sometimes be difficult to read your on-screen text when it's over top of a photo. For example, if I add this picture of Atsumi, you can see that this character picture and the background picture are competing with each other, and this text is a little bit hard to read when it's on top of all of these different colors. So because of this, you might be hesitant to use background photos in your projects. But I'm going to show you how you can easily edit your photo in three different ways, like this, like this, and like this, using a few simple uh, clicks right in Storyline so that you can use your photos to be your backgrounds. So the first technique is one of my um, favorite techniques. I do this all the time. It's just fading your photo. So you just want to fade the background photo so that it remains lightly visible, but so that it's not overpowering and so that it doesn't impede the learner's ability to read the text that's on screen. To do this, you're just going to right click on the photo, select Format Picture, and you're going to increase the transparency. I usually increase it to at least 80%. It gives you a preview of how it's going to look. Um, because you you know, you want it to be only visible if they kind of look for it. You don't want it to be uh, jumping out at the, at the learner. So now you can easily put text and photos over top of this background photo and it'll stand out. Now the second trick is instead of fading out the photo is to darken the image to give it a more even and opaque feel and then that makes it easier to read text that's overlaid on top of the image. So here's how you can do this. Again, you're going to right click on the photo select format picture. Under blend I'm going to choose a dark gray and then right here under mode I'm going to select the soft light mode and then I'm going to click close. Now I can overlay white text or I can put um, like a title on this slide and it'll stand out. And so the final technique is a two trick, is like a two step process. So the first thing you're going to do is right click on the photo, select format picture. Under recolor, we're going to choose the black and white, sorry, the grayscale um, color mode preset. And then I'm going to set the transparency to about 50%. And then the second step is to actually add a rectangle shape that covers almost the whole slide, but not the whole thing. You want to leave an even amount of space all the way around. And then I'm going to make this uh, rectangle white and I'm going to give it a transparency of about 25%. And now I have kind of an overlaid black and white effect and it kind of gives you a cool background effect and the text and the photos will stand out clearly over top of this background. So that's super, three super simple background looks that you can easily create yourself in just a few steps by editing your photos and storyline.